everyone, welcome back. Today, we are tackling a critical question for any security or smart home setup. How do you power your IP camera? Get it wrong, and your camera becomes a fancy paperweight. Get it right, you have a rock solid reliability. And we will explore two foolproof methods, DC power and power over ethernet using this demonstration board. So let's dive in. Hey, want to quickly master network basics, camera settings, or even build your own security system? This course is specially designed for absolute beginners. From LAN selection to network configuration, we'll guide you through every step. And each lesson is simple and easy to understand with hands-on demonstration to help you get started effortlessly. So click the link to our course video now and start your learning journey. So first up, let's talk about DC power. This is your classic approach. You plug a power adapter like this one here, 12 volt, 2 amp break into a power outlet. Just like this. Connect it to our IP camera and then run a cable from the camera to your network video recorder and bam, it's alive. Simple, right? But let's talk about the pros and cons. The big advantage of DC power is DC adapter deliver high consistent power. If you need a camera with a heater for sub-zero temperatures, DC handles it effortlessly. And it's also a great option for fiber optic cameras, since fiber cable cannot carry power. But the catch is, you need a power outlet within reach of every camera. If your camera is mounted 20 feet up on a wall, you're drilling holes or hiring an electrician. Plus, if the power flickers, you need a backup battery at every single camera, so it's not ideal. And here enters PoE, power over ethernet. This is where magic happens. With PoE, a single ethernet cable delivers both power and data to your camera. No extra outlets, no messy adapters. How? It's all about smart engineering. PoE device like this PoE switch or PoE injector injects power into the ethernet cable, and your camera zips that power from the same port handling video data. So now let's change our power method from power adapter to PoE. But here we are going to keep this ethernet cable connected to the IP camera. Then let's add our PoE switch over here. Let's power up our switch. And take out the ethernet cable from our network video recorder and plug it into one of the PoE port. Use another short patch cord to connect the switch to the network video recorder. So now this ethernet cable is sending both power and data to our IP camera. Let's see the indicated light is on and our video feed is coming alive. I'm going to wave my hand to show you it is working. And it needs a little bit of time to focus. So why love PoE? It's ultra simple. One cable, one connection. And it's perfect for ceilings, walls, or outdoor mounts. But, and this is key, PoE has limits. So let's demystify them. Not all PoE is created equal. There are three key standards, and each with different power budget. First, we have IEEE A02.3 AF standard, the OG. It delivers about 15.4 watts, enough for basic indoor cameras. And next, we have IEEE A02.3 AT standard, PoE Plus. It provides up to 30 watts. It can handle pendle zoom cameras or heaters. And last, we have IEEE A02.3 BT standard, PoE++ 
the beast. It provides about 60 to 90 watts for advanced PDZ cameras, AI cameras, bright LEDs, or multi-sensor setups. But here's the golden rule. PoE power travels only 100 meters, that's 328 feet. Beyond that, voltage drops, cameras reboots, and frustration skyrockets. So plan your setup ahead. And here's a pro tip. If your camera is PoE Plus in its 30 watts, but you power it with a PoE Plus Plus injector that's 60 watts, the power might reach further. But your data signal still degrade past 100 meters. So the solution is you can add a network extender, but don't gamble with signal loss. Now the big win for PoE is centralized power. Imagine this. Instead of babysitting 20 backup batteries, one per camera, you only have to back up the PoE switch, one UPS battery, and every camera stays online during a blackout. Why this huge? It's cheaper, easier to maintain, and bulletproof reliable. No racing to replace dead batteries in the rain at 2 a.m. And lastly, for a quick recap, DC power equals maximum juice for demanding cameras, but needs outlets everywhere. And PoE equals streamlined elegance with one cable, but respect the 100 meters limits and wattage standards. Now, thank you very much for joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below. And until next time, stay powered, stay secure.